Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. Welcome to another PlayStation 4 review. Today's review is for Cyberpunk 2077. Now then, whew, where to start with this game? It seems to be getting um, an awful lot of press at the minute. Now, it would anyway. This, this game has been massively hyped for years. It's, in my experience, and I've been gaming a long, long time, games that are super hyped very rarely ever meet or get close to meeting expectations that is just my experience and it's happened over and over again the only time it hasn't happened to me and my expectations were exceeded was the witcher 3 which i have explained before on videos so needless to say i've been really really excited to play cyberpunk 2077 and that is an understatement believe me i've been really really hyped for this game really looking forward to it i was gutted all the delays that happened this year i mean i think it was initially due to release in april and then it could just get him delayed 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 so it's just made me want the game more if you like and all the press leading up to the game it all looked fantastic however i think it's safe to say that the launch of this game has been pretty poorly handled by cd project red um and maybe their success has come a little bit too early because I do think they have mishandled the launch of this game and I don't think they've actually covered themselves in a great deal of glory here um, I do think they have misled many gamers I do think the review releases in the sense of the big review outlets they only gave them copies on PC to review they wouldn't let them release any of their own footage and there was no console reviews allowed until launch now that immediately puts up the red flags to everybody um, so as it has happened as we have all predicted the base console versions of this game are getting a lot of stick by many many gamers and rightfully so if their experience of playing this game is poor and below expectations then they have every right to um, voice their opinions completely and utterly however the, the, this is the long way around for me to explain and you know my reviews here guys I will only give you my honest review of my opinion of my gaming experience of a game and honestly my general feelings toward this game are only really mostly positive I have had a really fantastic time playing this game so far I'm well over 30 hours into the game. I'm not one of these that thinks you have to put 70, 80, 100 hours into a game before you've got the right to review a game. That's twaddle. You know, especially if you've been gaming a long time, after putting several hours into a game, what it's like. You know what all the base mechanics are like, whether you're enjoying the story, and you can give um, some really good feedback on it. And that's where I'm at now with this game. And honestly, guys, I have been completely and totally immersed in Night City. Um really enjoying myself playing this game um, I'm going to talk about the negatives first and I have touched on some of them already but I'm going to talk about my personal feelings towards this game in a negative light because not everything's brilliant here uh, yes I have had one crash that I can remember yes there are problems with texture issues popping resolution issues but all of this will generally depend on your tolerance levels towards a game as to how much it's going to let you are going to let it affect you. Uh, there has just been a recent patch, I believe it was yesterday, a 17 gig patch on the PlayStation that has, in my opinion, fixed a lot of the issues. It's running smoother, it's looking a little bit better. And another thing I do recommend that you do when you're playing this game is go into your PlayStation settings and ad adjust the graphical settings. Um, to your taste. Experiment with them. I did. I spent a good half an hour, uh, probably longer, a couple, a, a day or two ago, experimenting with the graphical settings that they give you in the PlayStation version, and it really, really helped, um, and it made it a little bit more palatable. Certainly, in uh, the way the game looked, um, they've. So they say they've, they fixed the smudge effect I hadn't really noticed it anyway I wasn't experienced like loads of smudged effects and really terrible graphics my experience for the most part has been very positive in that sense but I have seen some bugs um, I'll give you a couple of examples uh, there was a mission fairly early on an important mission, story mission 
um, and I couldn't continue the mission because I, I couldn't speak to Jackie, my friend in the game. Uh, I had to go back in a building to speak to him and the guard wouldn't let me back in the building so that, that was broken that quest. I just reloaded it and then Jackie walked out of the building with me and then we could continue the quest. A couple of floaty objects, like for example when Johnny Hivel's Silverhand is smoking a couple of times, there's been like a floating cigarette occasionally in the in the scene. Um, loot that I've not been able to pick up, uh, certainly not straight away, sometimes if you give it a minute or so and then go back to the loot you can pick it up, but it's not ideal. Um, but no major glitches, you know, um, certainly some of the ones that we've seen on YouTube I haven't experienced as yet in this game and it is running pretty well and I think at times this game does look pretty spectacular even on PlayStation but there is no denying that there has been a downgrade here from all the footage that we've seen over the last couple of years of this game there has definitely been a downgrade certainly on uh, last gen models like PlayStation 4 uh, I'm speaking from my perspective the streets aren't as full, there's not enough NPCs to feel, make it feel like a really overcrowded futuristic city. There's not an awful lot of traffic on the roads, to, again to say it's an overcrowded futuristic city. So hopefully they can put um, a few more patches together over the coming six months or so and fix all these issues. I'm sure they will, it's CD Projekt Red, they are usually committed to their projects and games and they've put so many years of effort into this game. And they're not going to abandon it now, trust me. Stick the CD Projekt Red, they will put it right. They're very, very committed to gamers. And um, yes, their reputation has taken a bit of a knock because of this, I would suggest, because of the launch of this game. But I'm confident they'll put it right. So, Cyberpunk 2077, what do you get with this game? Well, you get to choose at the beginning of the game you know, whether you want to be a male or a female V. I chose male. You can create the character that you want to create, and it is very in-depth character customization, but not as in-depth as I was expecting, but it is still very in-depth. And then you get to choose three life paths, Nomad, Street Kid, Corpo, and I chose Nomad to start off with. And the reason for that is a Nomad lives on the outside of the city, doesn't know Night City particularly well, so he's a newcomer to Night City, as I am, so therefore I felt like that was the best perspective to start the game at. Um, it takes about, depending on how you play the game, about six hours, seven hours to get through the initial stages of the game before the game really takes off. Um, and you basically, that six hours, it, it, it's got tutorials, optional tutorials. Some of them are useful, some of them aren't. Um, a couple of missions for you to get used to the mechanics, the hacking, the shooting, the conversation trees, all that kind of stuff. And the, it, it's a really, really fun first initial six hours uh, that immerses you into this game. However, the game doesn't really start kicking off until after that six or seven hours. And then the city opens up to you. You are free to wander the city. You get countless quests given to you, side quests, gigs, missions, um, all these things given to you. And the, there's a mission very early on that essentially you've got to track down these rogue taxis that sends you all over Night City essentially and that's the main aim of this mission I would suggest for you to really have a good look at this city and really immerse yourself into it the game can be frustrating early because you want to really join in all the city's activities you want you see someone over there having a scrap with the police you want to go and help the police but you can't they're too overpowered they've got red skulls over there you're gonna die immediately um, and there's other things you want to do. You see these guys over here. You want to break it. You want to break it up, or you want to stop this gang here, but you can't. They're too overpowered. So the first ten hours can be a little bit frustrating. Certainly when you're exploring the city, because you're not leveled up enough. You've not put enough skills in your skill tree. You've not upgraded uh, yourself enough. And as an RPG, this game is in depth now. We've all seen the controversies of people saying, oh, people haven't reviewed this game enough, they've not experimented, they've not crafted, they've not done side missions, blah, blah, blah. It's true, if you really want to fully experience this game, you need to put a lot of effort into this game. Um, if you, you will only get out of this game what you put into it, and that's, what, that's generally what all good RPGs are about. Put the effort in, you will get rewarded, and that is the same with this game. Um, if you dive in with both feet, 
you will get immersed in the whole thing. Um, the, there is a huge array of weapons to choose from. Um, and my personal favourites are the smart weapons. Once you get the ability to use a smart weapon, it just transforms your gaming experience, I think. The brilliant. Uh, I love the katana. It's absolutely brilliant. I'm not usually a fan of melee weapons in games like this, but the katana is brilliant. Absolutely love it. Uh, and the shotguns as well, but you will not be disappointed with the array of weapons. And as I've said before on reviews, I'm no expert at first person shooters. I don't play Call of Duty, but I think the shooting in this game is fantastic. Really, really enjoying it, I'm not going to lie. I think it's really responsive, and I think it, they sound brilliant as well. The story I think is brilliant and essentially I'm not going to spoil the story for you, you need to play the game but there have been reports that the story can last anything from 15 to 25 hours. I've barely scratched the surface on the story yet and like I say I'm well over 30 hours into it, I'm immersing myself in all the side missions and all the other things. But essentially here the story is you you will event you will do some kind of big heist at the beginning of the game. It all goes terribly wrong and you end up with the ghost of Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves, i.e. Johnny Silverhand, in your brain. Um, much has been said about Keanu Reeves and his performance here, and all I'll say here is if you're a fan of Keanu Reeves and his acting style, you're gonna enjoy him in this game. If you're not a fan of fan of Keanu Reeves and his movies, you're not going to like him in this game. It is really that simple. He is Keanu Reeves in this game. Um, and the character, I really enjoyed it. And the interactions between uh, Johnny Silverhand and V, I think, are priceless at times. Really enjoyed it. Um, a huge array of clothing options to buy, steal, loot, all this kind of stuff. So you can dress your V how you want. Um, which is really, really cool. You can upgrade. If you choose, for example, a piece of clothing that you really like you can go to the crafting section and upgrade it um, so you can keep that piece of clothing otherwise you're going to end up putting re really odd bits and pieces of clothing on your character and look like a hobo um, at some point in the game so choose a piece of clothing that you like if you and then just keep upgrading it and it's the same with the weapons find a weapon that you really really like using and just keep upgrading it with the the things that you find in the game the crafting materials uh, you can craft legendary weapons, all this kind of stuff, and my experience with the crafting is the, craft, the weapons that you craft are usually slightly more powerful than the weapons that you pick up, so it does reward you for crafting. The skill tree is huge, um, and you've got things like your body, reflexes, cool, technology. You've got all these different areas to put your skill points in, and depending on what kind of character you want to be, that's where you will focus your skill points and it's not difficult to figure that out especially if you are used to like these type of in-depth RPGs I went for a kind of runner gunner type of character I like the shooting aspect of it and the melee so that's what I focused on I didn't focus on the hacking so much but the hacking's there in the game um, and depending if that's if you're like you like you like to play stealthy and do the hacking you can do that option as well it's all there for you to do um, it's it's such an immersive city, really it is. I have found myself literally driving about, or walking about. Sometimes uh, the mission click might be 500 yards away, or wherever it is on the minimap, and I'll walk to it because I just want to immerse myself in the city and I'll be looking around at everybody. Um, and at times, there'll be a tinge of disappointment because you're kind of thinking, where is everybody? And then other times you'll go down into the gutters, into the poorer parts of the city and it's packed full of all these sleazy characters and things like that so at times it can be it can really draw you in this game and other times it can break immersion um, occasionally uh, just look at this scene now there should be more characters on the screen um, but it still looks great you know for the most part and you will find yourself sometimes just standing and looking at the advertisements um, and just uh, watching the news broadcast and things like that just just soaking up uh, the atmosphere of the game because CD Projekt Red have put so much time and effort into this game yes it is failing in a lot of areas but it is fantastic in others and it's probably the most ambitious game that I've ever played in my life and it's a game that I know I will continue to play and put effort into over the, over the coming years so because I've got this version and I will be getting a PlayStation 5 I know that next year we'll be getting a free upgrade to PlayStation 5 um, and I'm really looking forward to play that as well on that system uh, when it has been fully upgraded to run 
beautifully on that system to get the graphical upgrades and things like that. But this game doesn't look bad, trust me guys. It really doesn't look bad um, on uh, as a game on a whole on, on the uh, PlayStation 4 console. Granted, I'm playing it on a PlayStation 4 Pro. Um, but in my experience, my son has got a PlayStation 4 base model. Um, and my experience when we've compared games in the past is there's not an awful lot of difference between PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 4 Pro. I've never really noticed it, to be perfectly honest. So to try and sum this game up is very, very difficult. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I was hoping uh, when before launch to give it a 10 out of 10 because I just was expecting so much from it. For my personal experience and how much I am enjoying the game, it's a 9 out of 10. You might be giving it a 7, 6 out of 10 depending on your experience with the game. I completely understand that. But it, it, I, I don't think it's as bad as some people are making out. But some people's experiences are different and some people's expectations are different. I think, generally speaking, it's a wonderful game, this. Um, and it's a game I do definitely recommend. Um, and it's a game that definitely CD Projekt Red will continue to commit to and continue to patch and upgrade and improve it. So I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. Thank you very much for watching. And of course, I will be back with more content on Screen Stars very, very soon.